Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a very brief video, <laughs> I say brief, we all know what I mean, um, of SPF and skincare routine for holiday. I just got back from two very short breaks. We booked, after the stress with the kids being sick and stuff and the holiday that turned into a bit of a washout, I booked two very trips last minute. We did Venice, Mr. Hirons and I for four days, and then Croatia, came back for two days, had Max's birthday, and then took the two younger children to Croatia for another four days. Um, so I have SPF and skincare. The skincare is a mixture of things I bought in Venice and started using in Croatia, and the SPF sort of did the whole family across both trips. Um, let's go straight in, Hore. I'm also wearing the lower tray of my Invisalign. I'm a bit lispy. I took the top one out so I would, you would at least be able to understand me. Uh, let's go straight in with facial SPF and I'll probably do skincare at the end. We had three on rotation. Um, one physical and two chemical SPFs. The two chemical are the Clarins and the Lancaster. These I've used for a long time. This has been on the blog loads of times. I picked this one up in the Venice airport to use in Croatia little dance. Both SPF 30, both UVA, UVB. Um, I think, I know this has the oxybenzone warning on the box. I think this one does too. They're both chemical. They both worked. Um, I'm not sure they worked as good as the SkinCeuticals SPF, which I was using before I went away. Or it could have just been that the sun was stronger and I dropped SPF status. I don't know. What I did find was that this one is um, probably best for poolside. Mm -hmm. This one is nice under makeup. And this one, you kind of, I almost do need to wear it under foundation because it does leave a bit of an ash because of the 20% zinc. Um, I do have a reader, a commenter left comment who was much darker skin than me who said that she loves this but she uses the one that's tinted. Otherwise you get that sort of gray color, which is only to be expected in something that's 20% zinc oxide. However, it is a lovely SPF. It did the job. Um, my pigmentation is not nearly as bad as it was when we were away in April. Um, but I think that's because I was a bit more diligent this time. In April, we were walking around Disney with the kids. Um, this time it was poolside and I was reapplying every hour on the hour. I was a bit more... So although my pigmentation has come out, it hasn't come out anything as bad as it did. I do have one big fat disappointment. This I bought in the Venice airport and on the first day of using it, this you can't even see it, it wore off, the, the writing wore off. This is by Aven, so it looks like that. It's completely mullered and I, when I tell you that we had only just opened it, I used it once on all of us and it broke off in the head of the top. I can't get that out. Mr. Hirons in the end was stabbing it with a knife to try and use it because he liked it. And then it's, sorry, just try and get you to focus. Oh, so that was a disappointment. And it was about, it wasn't, it was like 15 euros, I think. So not extortionate, but the reason I bought it is because it was an SPF 50 block and I like it, I was drawing it on my pigmentation, but also using it on Max, who won't sit still for three seconds, but I can grab his hair and draw on his face. And yes, I do do that. So that was a bit annoying. What are you gonna do? Um, hair protection. I grabbed one this trip because I took too many when we went away in April. So I just took one and I grabbed the first one I could find, which was the Aveda Protective Hair Veil. It looks like this. Um, I liked it, it did the job. My hair isn't fried. Um, it may look very John Bon Jovi today, but it isn't fried. I do think though I prefer the Phytology one purely because it's slightly oilier. And when I'm away, I hardly ever blow dry. My hair is always in a bun. And the oiliness protects, but it also means your bun stays slick. So for protective factor in terms of swimming and keeping it free from the sun and chlorine, amazing. But for styling, the phytology is better if you have a David Coverdale Motley Crue mop that you need to put into some sort of order. I took this to Venice. Now, it's my fault. I didn't look at it closely before I left, but I took it to Venice, very excited, thinking, oh, that's the one everyone's talking about. I'll take that and try it. And it says body power cream. It's this one, which is part of the, can you see there? Acai Body Power Cream. It's part of the uh, Sol Janeiro range. You'll see, there's another product here, but you'll see that they, the big tub of body butter that they make that's yellow is all over the place at the moment. 
Now I took this because of the size, okay? So here's the thing. I took that, I thought, lovely. That'll do me amazingly in Venice. Problem that I did not see until we were out in Venice. I didn't notice it in our hotel room. Oh God, now I'm getting it everywhere. I don't know if you can see. I mean, I did use quite a lot of it up because I took it, I was determined to use it, but it's glittery. So this probably won't show. It's very fine, but at one point, we were sitting at dinner on our first night there and Jin turned to me and said, you're a bit sparkly, um, but you don't look, you don't see it at first. I know this looks like you're thinking there's nothing there and I know it doesn't look like there is. When it dries down, there's a residue of glitter. I'm 48, I'm not into glitter and unicorns. However, I'm saying that a lot. However, I love the smell. It did hydrate my skin. So if you are not, Daily Dose of Powder for, for resilient and radiant skin, that should have given me a clue, shouldn't it? If you're not worried about having a bit of shimmer, then that's fine. But I ended up, the sheet had shimmer on it. All my clothing was glittery. So it's not, don't get me wrong, it's not big chunks, but it is noticeable if you're someone who does not wear shimmer on the body. So I like it and it worked. Take the shimmer out and we're good to go. When we left Venice Airport and I bought the Lancaster, the reason I stopped was obviously for this. This is Lancaster's Tan Maximizer. Looks like that. This has been almost, I mean, it's almost a myth and an icon and there is not anything to say about the Tan Maximizer from Lancaster that hasn't already been said. It says one month tan prolonging, repairing after sun soothing uh, moisturizer. The only thing is you're, you can also use it before you go away. So prolongs your holiday tan up to one month and helps skin natural recovery process after sun exposure. Apply generously to face and body after sun exposure and after your holiday. So I was thinking, well, if we're going to Croatia and I'm gonna get four days of just chilling by the pool, I will go tan and I want something to keep it going as we go into the winter months. So I bought it and I've been using it as a body lotion ever since and I will continue to do so until this is worn out. If you haven't used it and you're not that worried about um, sort of extent, who knows if it really works? I don't know, people. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think I buy into it. I think I'm drinking the lemonade. I have used it on and off for years. I don't actively seek it out every season, but when we left Venice and I picked up a bit of colour on my forearms and face in Venice, because if you know Venice, you're literally, it's just where the sun hits you. There's nowhere to actually sunbathe unless you're George Clooney obviously um but i i saw it and i was like well we're going away at least embrace the whole spf thing and the tan maximizer was what drew me to the lancaster counter where i just went boom 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 because i do know what i want and i am going to use it up until it's gone so maybe i'll check back when it's an empty and tell you if i think it extended my tan or not but it's glitter free okay speaking of lancaster um i picked up two of these purely because my family are lazy sods. They don't like cream, I like a cream, they love a spray. This is the oil-free milky spray SPF 30 high protection. And again, it says UVA, UVB, visible light and infrared. This one, of course it doesn't have a lid because this was Ava's and it's just God knows what she did with it. Looks like this, sprays white, but it's not ashy and it rubs in, done. You will only get, you should only get an ashy SPF from a physical SPF that has zinc or titanium dioxide. A chemical SPF won't make you go ashy at all. In this case, you can't see because I've got the lights on quite bright, but it gives you a nice little glow. Um, Lancaster has a very definitive smell. I'm not overly keen on it, but it doesn't put me off using it. If you are fussy about smells, I would suggest trying it before you buy it because the, oh, the whole range smells the same. It's To me now, it does, it does make me think sun cream and holiday and chill, but it doesn't smell anything as good as the Clarins. I only have two left in the sun care department. Actually, that's a lie. I kind of technically have three. This SPF was a surprise to me, as was the um, after sun. Again, I grabbed this thinking, oh, it's a cream, it'll be a bit thicker, I'll prefer it to a spray. I did not expect to fall in love with it. And when I tell you that I fell in love with it, I'm just gonna put some on off camera. Thing. Okay, this is La Mer and it's the Reparative Body Sun Lotion SPF 30 High. It'll be very hard to read, but it's there. It looks like this. Um, this, again, has the oxybenzone warning. It's a chemical SPF. But 
it is without question the nicest SPF body cream I have ever used in my life. I do not say that lightly. Again, hashtag not an ad. Um, I've always been very loyal to my SPFs. This was a new find. Here's why I loved it. I am sort of fairly dry skinned anyway. If you're, if you're oily skinned, you may not like it. It's rich. But if you have normal skin, I mean, everyone's skin is normal to them, but if you have normal skin, dehydrated skin or a drier skin, which for me means if you're a bit older, if you're 20, don't go and buy La Mer. Go to a chemist or a supermarket and get yourself the high SPF block in their own brand. This is, you need this if you're older and you can afford it, and I am older and I can afford it. Although being completely open, they sent me this and I grabbed it purely by chance. I will absolutely buy this myself. I, I can't even tell you enough about it. It is like a rich body cream. I mean, oh, okay, first of all, it smells amazing. You're not gonna be able to see anything, but basically, it smells amazing, it hydrates the skin. So my big problem when I'm sort of hanging around by the pool or swimming with the kids or around Disney, whatever, is that I go dry because I'm already dry and the sun is dehydrating. So I do my best to counteract that. This is by far the best option for that I have found yet. Um, it's a rich cream, you don't need much. It, I can't even, when you put it on, your skin goes like, it's almost like a makeup. It goes like a golden glowy, it leaves like a nice body lotion residue, but it's not sticky and it's SPF 30 and it worked. I did not burn anywhere. I mean, like I say, I'm being very vigilant, but normally I would like miss a bit on a boob or, you know, I didn't burn anywhere. And I do think that is because the process of putting it on is so luxurious. You make sure you're covered everywhere. You're just, I love it. And it will be in my collection for life. I don't say that lightly. I also have two others that I love and will be in my collection for life. Now this, again, I grabbed thinking I would be a matching pair. I had no idea. This is La Mer again, I'm sorry, but it's the After Sun Enhancer. Looks like this. Let me just see. Now this one, I expected to have a shimmer because it's called an After Sun Enhancer. It's you would expect a little bit of a shine. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Let me see if I turn the lights down, do you get any better effect? But let's just look in the light from the, so there is the body lotion. See that kind of glowy? This one is really, really shiny, but not, shiny such a horrible word. Sorry, I looked really overexposed then. It's glowy, it's hydrating. So I actually, for a while on holiday, I shelved this. As soon as I put this on, I was like, oh, hello. And I started using this and shelved this. Now I'm cheating. I, th then, I, then I started using this in the morning as a moisturizer after my shower and this in the evening before we went out for dinner. I will use both of these up to the bitter end and I will chop them in half and I will squeeze out every last bit I can and I will buy this again. I've been buying this for 20, 20 30 odd years um, on and off. I will buy this again and I will buy this again. They are amazing and it's not sponsored by La Mer. I know some of you will think it is, but I promise you it's not. I just, job well done. This, I love it like chips and mayonnaise. English chips, not American chips. They're crisps, people. French fries and mayonnaise. This again is from the Sol de Janeiro range. Brazilian Kiss, Cupasa, oh, Kupu, oh my God, mortifying. I can't pronounce it, I'm so sorry. But it's the lip butter. It looks like this. Let me make it look vaguely attractive, hang on. Okay, it looks like this, okay? I thought, take it for the airplane. You're not gonna like it, it's too big. Look, let's go, let's see how far we go. So it's actually, that's a bit of a cheat. It's only about that big in the tube. So that bit is a rip off, I did not realize that. However, oh no, and then it all comes off when you push it up. Oh, for God's sake, why'd you mess? Hmm. It is, God, no, I've got a mouthful of lip balm. Why do I like it? It has one fault that I can find. God, sorry, it's all over me now. It doesn't appear to 
have SPF in it. If it had SPF, it would be one of my favourite lip products for being anywhere out in the sun at any point of day and anywhere in any part of the world at any one time. If it had SPF. It doesn't have SPF. So bear that in mind. I would still recommend that you find an SPF lip product or do what I did, which is put this on and take your SPF from your face over your mouth, but that's fine. What it does do is, you can go like that, all over the lip. Mm. It doesn't give you colour, it's just a balm. Now I've made it red, but never mind. But it's big enough to cover the whole lip because it doesn't have colour, it doesn't show around the edges. It was brilliant for the airplane. So I did four flights in two weeks, which is unusual. Please don't think that, you know, that's the norm for us. It was very, very last minute and cheapo, but it was just like, ooh, all over the face, quick spritz, and I was asleep. I love it. I will buy it again. And when I get a new one, what I'll do is show you on camera to see if I've just used that much of it. But it does seem like it's that size and it only maybe comes down to there, which is a bit cheeky. But it says, love it, flaunt it, you've got it. I like that. Not if you've got it, flaunt it. Flaunt it regardless. Nice. I like. Okay, skincare. Going on holiday, I am extremely, I'm ex now extremely focused. I try and take smaller sizes. I don't really decant because I find it too time consuming and I do have smaller sizes and I find I can do it without doing that. But I know Trini loves to decant. I'll see if I can find the video she's just done of her showing all of her decanting nonsense. She loves it. I prefer to take product. I'll just take a smaller size. So I take, oh, it's bloody empty, it's at home. I took on this trip, I took my cleanser because I thought it's a makeup remover and a morning cleanser. That's a job done. Um, I take peel pads in a packet. I had grabbed, I had four left. These are Dennis Gross. You, these will not be new to the readers of my blog. And I don't care about whether they're extra strength or universal. I grab what I can. I also had three Pixi Glow Tonic to go sachets. They do like a sample in a sachet. I had three of those. I didn't use acid every night. I lay off it if I've been in the sun a lot, but if I feel like I need a bit of a boost, I will. Um, and I think I took like, we were, I think I took one for each, I would have taken 10, I've got four left. So I used six over the period of four or five days. So it was probably one in the evening, maybe one in the morning occasionally. Um, I don't go to town, like I say, I don't go to town with acid and I don't always travel with them. I did on this occasion. I'm so sorry, that lip balm <laughs> is all over my lips. Anyway, so my cleanser, acids in a sachet, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I did just say that, you can shoot me later. I took this because I was determined to use it up, which is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. You won't be able to see the writing because it's so in gold. I concentrate matrix. Is that any better? Ish. Um, this is now, this will be the next empty video. The time, when you pull it out, you do get a little bit of residue, but I've used that up. I love the juice. I'm not so keen on the applicator, but I'll talk about an empties video, but great for travel because you literally are just like, um, so I used that up over the two holidays. That's done. Not just on the two. I've had that for a good two, two and a half months, maybe three. Now, again, just before I left, I was sent these things and the rest of purchases. Just before I left, Drunk Elephant sent me a holiday minis kit. And it happened to contain, I think I put a picture on my Instagram stories. It contained small sizes of their hydrator, their marula oil, their C firma serum, and their glycolic. I left the glycolic at home. I don't really want to use a glycolic acid at night as a treatment, but I did take these. Uh, they were very handy. I only took the three. And I'll tell you my thinking, I used the vitamin C serum during the day. I used the hydrating gel AM and PM if I was dehydrated, because of course, when you're out in the sun, you are. Then none, of, none of these have gone empty, by the way. Um, and then I used the marula oil in the evening to repair. They were great. I would highly recommend as a travel kit. They do, sorry, if I gone too high, I'm sitting on my foot. They do sell them in Sephora. I saw them there when I was over like, um, earlier this year. Um, highly recommend if you want a really good size travel kit that won't run out for like a two, three week vacation. I haven't had a three week vacation. It's just, I think that's how long they would last. I also took, because I'm a fan of a lip product, um, Dermalogica. This is the nightly lip treatment. It looks like that. Now I have actually broken this, which is genius, but 
this bit here has separated. I don't know if you can see, there's like a gap where there shouldn't be. But what I love about this is it's got that lovely old trusty applicator that's ice cold. You just pump down, you'll get, sorry, you'll just pump down, you just get enough coming out there. Normally I'd put it on with the lips, but I've got enough. And then you just pull, go like that all over the mouth and put it away. I like it because it's minty, fresh and cooling and <laughs> honestly, too much with the lips. Um, firm, hydrate and restore the lip and perioral region with this rich overnight treatment. I didn't use it all the time because I'm still trying to get rid of my perioral dermatitis, which I suffer from on and off forever. Um, I just was about to get rid of it forever. The sun, for me, the sun annihilates it, it gets rid of it. I just got rid of most of it and I had a teeny bit of residue here. But I really like it. It's a lovely nighttime lip treatment. If you are particularly dry lipped, if you have problems with your lips, I would check out that and I would check out this. They are lovely. I do like a nice lip product and they were lush. Three left. This one won't come as any surprise. I take this with me everywhere I go now. It's kind of become my go-to. I am gonna repurchase the one I got from Cult Beauty that was in my last empties. That was the Maid Sarah. This is Sarah Midden and it's the normal original cream. The reason I like this is just that it suits my skin. I use it on top of um, any serum. I use it under any SPF. My skin doesn't react to it in any way. It's not too greasy, it's not too drying. Um, it's perfect. I've been using the gel cream since I got back just because it's a bit wetter. Well, actually it's a lot wetter and therefore more sort of immediately hydrating, but this is more comfortable. So loving. Now these two, <laughs> this is why it's good that Mr. Hirons never watches my videos or reads my blog. I bought these in Venice. We went for a meander. He, he likes to go and look at all the art galleries and I like an art gallery in a nice location because in Italy in particular, there's always a Santa Maria Novella nearby. So I picked up this. The labels are gonna be shocking for you to see. Nourishing Night Oil, looks like that. And the Noni Night Cream, which cracked me up because of course in some families, Noni means something else. Here's what I love. The Nourishing Night Oil is a beauty treatment rich in antioxidant plant oils and vitamins. By the way, I am gonna do a dedicated review of these on the blog, so this is more of a quick overview. Um, this was my sort of adding, these are for older faces. Again, if you're under 30, under 25, you don't need them. You might like to use them if you're really dry. I would indulge. Sam Chapman and Sally Hughes and Nadine Baggett, these are for you. The Noni Night Cream, Okay, I'm going old school for a minute, so bear with. 30 odd years ago, maybe more, more, mum long made a night cream called Nutrix. It was mineral oil based, it was really greasy, it was really heavy. It was also one of the first beauty products I fell in love with because the smell reminded me of my mother and my grandmother. It was rich, it was greasy, it was like your worst nightmare if you had acne. <laughs> and I didn't have acne, I was drier. Um, this is the closest thing I've found to that while being mineral oil free. Noni night cream, I'm not even gonna show you on my hand. Okay, I will. I don't even wanna waste it. It's, oh God, okay. Just a teeny bit to show you. Focus. Okay, why I love them together. My skin is definitely not as dehydrated and sort of dried out as it would normally have been. The reason I like them as well is they are, this one contains retinol. It's just, it's just a, two bottles of goodness. They're not cheap. They're Santa Maria Novella, they're not cheap. Um, but frankly, <laughs> I'm old and ugly enough to be able to afford it, so I bought them. I'm sorry, I know there's nothing. There is not one bit of skincare. Oh, that's a nice picture, I should use that as my thumbnail, shouldn't I? There's not any skincare that I actually physically go out, need to go out and buy, but I love good skincare. And when I played with these in the shop, I went in there to buy a room smelly thing, because if you don't know Santa Maria Novella, I'll put a link below. You walk into the shop and they all have a similar smell. You walk in, you go, ah. I bought the pomegranate room thing. And then I went over and had a nosy at the skincare. Now the rose water from them is infamous. Every beauty editor has it. Anyone who has anything to do with blogging long-term has it. 
you can get a big bottle like this for like 25 quid you can't even see my measuring <laughs> um, I've had that for years these were new to me and I love them and again I will repurchase and that's the nourishing night oil and the noni night cream noni so look out for a full blog review on them on the blog um, blog review on the blog yes that makes sense so after me saying I'm gonna be quick 25 minutes beautiful any questions leave them below I will try and answer but I'm also gonna link to the two I think SPF videos I did with Dr Marco Lenz who is an expert in that area and the blog posts I've done the cheat sheets I've done so watch those first and read the cheat sheet first and then if you still have a question put it below and I will try and get to them as soon as I can I hope that was helpful I hope you enjoyed it and oh god I feel like I need to go over it all again I'm always afterwards I always want to keep talking for hours I'm so sorry um any questions put them below see you soon and thanks for watching